People question this and wonder about this. Does he actually even care? Because he might tell you that he cares. He might say that he cares. He might try to pretend that he cares. But does the narcissist actually care about you? What do you think? You see, some people spend an enormous amount of time, money, and energy being with a person that constantly says that he cares and constantly says, oh, this is going to change. I'm going to get better. I'm going to work on this, all these different types of things. But at the end of the day, does this person actually care? I want to share with you a couple of things when we talk about narcissists and narcissists actually caring about you to hopefully have you reframe the thought process about what you're dealing with and does he actually care or not. The crazy making, the hopelessness, the confusion that you're in right now, I want you to consider a couple options that might help you moving forward with this question of does the narcissist actually care. The first thing I want to tell you is get really clear on the facts. Now, what I mean by that is what is the actual evidence that you see in the relationship that proves that he actually cares. Because the narcissist will tell you over and over, I care about you, I love you, all this kind of stuff. But in reality, until you actually face the facts of what's actually true and what's not true, you will continue to believe him when he continues to do something different. Now, what's going on is this concept of cognitive dissonance. Basically, what you see and what he tells you are one thing, and what he's actually doing is a completely opposite. So he might say, hey, I love you, but then he might not show it by his actions. Cognitive distance. And so you're left thinking like, wait a second, do I believe his words or do I believe his actions? What do I actually believe? And it leaves you stuck in this limbo land that a lot of times you'll come up with another story that you tell yourself. Well, he's just going through a hard time at work. He's just struggling. He's emotionally immature. Maybe he's just a sex addict. Like there's a lot of different stories that you'll start to give to this and be like, oh, like it's got to be this. When in reality, you're typically running away from the actual truth of the situation, which is that he doesn't care. There we go. Gave it away. Okay. The narcissist doesn't care about you, but you will not see it until you start looking at what is actually demonstrated. And so I want you to consider the thing that you're questioning. Maybe it's not specifically the word care. Maybe it's wondering if he actually loves you. Maybe it's wondering if he's being honest. I want you to put the word demonstrate in front of those words. How does he actually demonstrate honesty? Well, he's not really being transparent about what he's doing. So then he's not honest. It's amazing when I talk to a narcissist and we're trying to get down to the root cause and the root problem. And he's like, well, you know, I stretched the truth here. I didn't really show, share everything. And all of a sudden, like we've, I, I walk them like five minutes sometimes to try to get them to a place of being like, yeah, I told a lie. Because a narcissist doesn't want to admit that there's anything wrong, doesn't want to admit that he's actually lying to you. So as a result, he'll continue to do it over and over and over again for as long as you accept it. And so you need to understand when you're questioning yourself and when you're questioning the relationship of like, hey, I don't really know. It feels like he cares sometimes and then it doesn't. It oscillates back and forth. We have these amazing times and then we have these awful times. He can be loving on me one time and then he can be screaming at me the next. And I want you to consider that you might need to look at what the actual facts of the situation. Like take a look and say, what is actually demonstrated? Like, what has he actually shown me consistently in this relationship? What has he actually demonstrated of how he cares about me? How does that actually match up? What is the evidence? Like, when you think about it, consider taking the phrase, consider taking the idea and writing it down on a piece of paper. And once you have it written down on the piece of paper, start to write underneath the facts, the evidence, the things that have been demonstrated to support or deny that statement that you've just written down. Because when you do this, you start to take yourself out of just the emotion piece. You start to write it down and you start to look at it logically. And you're like, okay, I know this in one aspect, but... And we have to be able to connect the heart and the head. This is a hard thing to do. For me, this is a battle that I've been battling for a long period of time. How do I actually connect my heart and my head together? Because for me, it is hard to tap into the feelings. So I want to logic my way out of something and not bring my heart into it. On the other side, you're at the place where you've brought your heart into it so much. You've given your time, your energy, your money into this relationship, and he's shown up in a way that has been abusive, manipulating, gaslighting, and left you with nothing. So I want you to consider you need to write this down. Now, the reason why we have people write things down, we do a couple different things. One, it helps you when you watch something. So you're watching something right now. I'm speaking and you're hearing, okay? Watching and hearing. Then from there, to be able to learn this, you need to start actually writing it down. What is the phrase? What is the thought that's actually going through your head? And then as you do that, what are the facts that support this? 
This engages different aspects of your brain where now you're looking at it at a different state. Logically, you're hearing me talk about it, then you're writing it down, and the next thing is you need to actually say it. You need to read it out loud. Sometimes I'll have people read it out loud into their own phone, like do a video. That way they can actually hear it back. Sometimes it's telling it to another friend. Sometimes it's just speaking it into the mirror so you can actually hear the words that you've actually written down because sometimes it hasn't completely hit you. And you haven't actually got this to be able to connect it all together. So like you need to be able to understand like helping you move forward is essential of getting really clear of the facts. Absolutely clear of the facts. So I want to invite you to do that. You can do that in some of the challenges that we have. You can go to escapetoxicity.com, which is our seven day challenge for $7. Just to be able to help you start moving forward in your healing process to help you actually grow and develop who you actually are going to be. But you need to get to the hard truth. What is actually real? What are the actual facts of the situation? Like until you see the actual facts of the situation, you will typically stay stuck in the relationship much longer than what you've ever wanted to be. How many of you right now would say, hey, I feel stuck in the relationship I'm in? Type in me into the chat. If you're like, hey, I feel stuck currently. Maybe it's I feel stuck emotionally. I don't know how I can actually leave. Maybe I'm stuck and it feels hopeless. Type in me into the chat. Maybe you feel stuck because you feel crazy. Because you're like, no one else sees this. I'm the only one that sees this. Maybe you feel stuck right now because financially he's taken your money. He's got control of the finances. Maybe you feel stuck because of what he's done to you sexually. Type in me into the chat. Understand you're not the only one. And I don't say that to diminish you. I say that to mean there is a lot of people that are going through the same shit at the same time that can be free. We've walked people down the journey, but it has to come to this first realization of wondering and questioning, does he actually care? And you taking a hard look at what has been demonstrated, what has been shown. Because until you actually come to the table and you say, okay, here's the evidence. Like I see the evidence of what's actually happened. We don't have anything to work with. Sometimes I'll engage and I'll work with people like on a one-on-one basis. They'll come in with a first call or we'll start talking. We'll start working through stuff and they're not willing to hear anything else but their own trauma. And while it's important to be able to say it and state it and work through it, there's also a piece that like we have to take the focus off of him and we have to start putting it onto you. How are you going to grow from this? How are you going to change from this? Or are you going to stay stuck forever? Because that is your option. But it doesn't have to be your fate. When we talk about engaging with toxicity and engaging with a narcissist, it is super hard for people to get free because ultimately they're typically telling themselves a story that has been impressed upon them, lies that have been told upon them, and they feel like they are completely stuck. It's time for you to get unstuck. It's time for you to actually get free. 